The St. Peter and St. Paul archipelago is a group of 15 small islets and rocks in the central equatorial Atlantic Ocean. It lies in the intertropical convergence zone, a region of the Atlantic characterized by low average winds punctuated with local thunderstorms. It is a special municipality of the Brazilian state of Pernambuco and lies approximately 510 nmi from the Brazilian northeast eastern coastal town of Turos, 625 kilometers northeast of the archipelago of Fernando de Noronha, 990 kilometers from the city of Natal, and 1,824 kilometers from the west coast of Africa. The islets expose serpentinized abyssal mantle peridotite and carcetite bearing ultramathic myelinite on the top of the second largest megamalian in the world and the highest one in the world. It is the only location on the Atlantic Ocean where the abyssal mantle is exposed above sea level. In 1986, the archipelago was designated an environmentally protected area. This is now part of the Fernando de Noronha Environmental Protection Area. Since 1998, the Brazilian Navy has maintained a permanently manned research facility on the islands. The main economic activity around the islets is tuna fishing. History On April 20, 1511, a Portuguese Navy fleet composed of six caravels under the command of Captain Garcia de Noronha discovered the islets by accident while on their journey to India. While navigating in open sea at late night, the St. Peter Caravel, under the command of Captain Manuel de Castro Alcafrado, crashed against the islets. A crew was rescued by the St. Paul Caravel, forming the name given to the islets. On the morning of February 16, 1832, the rocks were visited by Charles Darwin on the first leg of his voyage on HMS Beagle around the world. Darwin listed all the fauna he could find, noting that not a single plant or even a lichen could be found on the island. Darwin found two birds, a booby and a noddy, a large crab that stirred the fish intended for baby birds, a fly that lived on the booby and a parasitic tick. He found a moth that lived on feathers, a beetle, a woodlouse that lived on dung, and numerous spiders that he thought lived on scavenges of the waterfowl. Darwin felt that these rocks represented how life first took hold on a newly formed outcrop. Darwin was correct in noting that, unusually, these small islands were not volcanic, but were instead formed by a geologic uplift. Darwin's account formed the basis of a fictionalized episode in Patrick O'Brien's historical novel HMS. Surprise, when the naturalist Stephen Matarine is briefly marooned and survives by drinking fouled rainwater and the blood of boobies. Another famous person to visit the rock was Ernest Shackleton on his last expedition to Antarctica. In 1942, during World War II, the islets were declared to be part of the federal territory of Fernando de Noronha. In early 1960, the rock served as the starting point and terminus for the first submerged circumnavigation of the world by the American nuclear-powered submarine, US Triton, scientific station on June 25, 1998, the Brazilian Navy inaugurated the St. Peter and St. Paul Archipelago Scientific Station. The station is manned with four researchers, who are rotated in and out every 15 days. By maintaining permanent occupation of the archipelago, the Brazilian Navy extends Brazil's exclusive economic zone, territorial waters and airspace into the North Atlantic Ocean. On June 5 to 6, 2006, an earthquake with a magnitude of above 6 on the Richter scale rocked the archipelago. The strong tidal surge following the earthquake caused the battery compartment to crash against the station's outer wall, allowing sea water to flood the station. The four researchers who were on the archipelago took shelter in the lighthouse.
class, while maintaining constant contact with the Brazilian Navy. A fishing vessel located nearby rescued the researchers, who were then transferred to a Brazilian Navy patrol boat. The incident caused considerable damage to the station and equipment. The station was repaired on September 9-11, 2006, and became operational shortly after. In 2007, the Brazilian Navy started to build a new scientific station on the archipelago. Construction began on June July 24, 2007, and was completed on June 25, 2008. The new station was built with seismic isolation, and is considerably larger and better equipped than the previous one. The station is composed of a main building, equipped with reverse osmosis saltwater desalination system, photovoltaic system and satellite communications system, deposits and a mooring dock. The Brazilian Navy also maintains a lighthouse on the archipelago, built in 1995, to replace a previous one from 1930. On June 1, 2009, Air France Flight 447, an Airbus A330-200 en route from Rio de Janeiro to Paris was reported missing and is presumed to have crashed off the coast of Fernando de Noronha. Fragments from the aircraft were found near the St. Peter and St. Paul archipelago. Geography The St. Peter and St. Paul rocks are situated in the Atlantic Ocean, 100 kilometers north of the equator and the only group of Brazilian oceanic islets in the northern hemisphere. The nearest point in the Brazilian coast is Cabo de Calcanha, Rio Grande do Norte, approximately 1,010 kilometers from the archipelago. The total emerged area is about 4.2 acres and the maximum land elevation is 18 meters on Nordest Island. The archipelago is composed of several rocks, five small rocky islets and four larger islets. Belmont Islet, 5,380 square meters. Challenger Islet, 3,000 square meters. Nordest Islet, 1,440 square meters. Cabral Islet, 1,170 square meters. South Islet 943 square meters. Dot. The base is over 3,650 meters below sea level. None of the islets has a permanent fresh water supply available. Biology. Only the largest of the islets, Belmont, is vegetated with mosses and grasses. The other rocks are mostly barren, except for some sea algae and fungi that can tolerate the salt spray. The rocks are inhabited by seabirds, including the brown booby, brown noddy, and black noddy, as well as crabs, insects and spiders. 